Hey, Sunday, everybody. So, you know, I had some things yesterday with a book review from uh, uh, our friend Jim Lay's book, things I liked and everything I loved about it. Um, and then today I was like, what's well, Sunday? So, you know, everybody's home. Let's let's cook some. And uh, so today, we're gonna, you know, we're going to make some chicken because it makes the house smell good. We love it. And we have some beautiful chicken from... From uh, well, wherever you get your beautiful chicken from, Mars is from Tuas Ranch here in here in Arizona, and Dave brings us chickens for all our restaurants. They're super happy. They live good those short lives, but uh, we, we make sure that they uh, they uh, from dirt to dish. That's the best I got. Dirt to dish that they have they have they're respected. So um, what I did, you know, so we're not here for two hours, because I'm learning like how long these video things go and. How much I got your time? Um, I browned I browned all this chicken, just seared it, you know, on the outside, give it a little bit of color, and then I'll tell you what we got here, real quick, before everything's burning. Uh, onions, bay leaves, some parsley, and a couple of cloves of garlic. I'll tell you, and I'll give you the recipe. Hold on. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Smoking hot. It's a little better than I want. It's okay. No one will never know. No, it's actually fine. Um, me, if you want to come see this, we can see it. We're scraping this up. We're scraping up. See, those are all the bits. You know, there was just, I didn't flour the chicken at all, or, or you know, um, I just, I did a quick brine to it. Like, uh, just a little bit of cider vinegar, some water, a tiny bit of um, uh, salt, uh, but no sugar or anything. And that was just for a few hours, three hours or so. Um, and then I dried it, and then I seared it, browned it off. I wanted some skin and things to stick to the spot, which I'm going to tell you about in a minute. Um, that's kind of why I wanted you to come along today. Anyway, I'm going to let those go for a little bit. Then I'm going to deglaze it with some white wine and some rosé. There was two little bottles left spilled there. Um, we have made some nice, a big kind of Sunday ragu, a big marinara. That's more of a passata than the kind of rustic one we do. Um, when I cut the chickens, there's the backs and the necks. We made a little bit of stock, which that's some onion, some garlic, some bay, a little bit of chocotine in there, a little heat on it, not much. And that's it. All these are optional. So, so what I wanted to do today, Mia, I want to tell them the story about this pot. You know, that's, that's kind of the, 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 the thing there. Um, oh, yeah. The recipe's in the book. You guys can buy it or steal from somebody. Go online, get a picture of it. You don't got to buy it. It'll be nice. Our team can use the money. But uh, it's in there, this recipe. Um, um, and you can tweak it any way you want. I mean, this could be, you know, omit tomato sauce. You know, um, and you don't do much like a cocoa. There's an onion just flew. You guys can see that. Before. Um... And, uh, I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit right now. Now that they get a nice color, the garlic's getting a little bit of color. So you get, it's getting a little nice, nice. Using a wooden spoon so we don't scrape the bottom. I don't want my grandmother from heaven to yell at me. She was scraping all that nice bits up. Beautiful. Okay, right now I'm going to deglaze a little bit with this wine. Boom. I'm going to let that cook down nice, nice. I'm going to scrape up. How many minutes we got on this right now? Uh, left. Yeah. Left. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm trying to make these short enough so you guys don't fall asleep. All right. So I'm going to let that go for a couple minutes. We don't have to do anything to it. I'm going to put the top on it real quick so I can tell you the story. And this story, too. So one thing about, you know, I don't have a lot of, you know, hardly any uh, uh, physical things that, besides my family. It means a lot. Houses, they're just bricks and mortar. You know, it, none of this stuff really matters. It comes and goes as matters to each other, as we know. But I wrote about this in a book a little bit. Again, shameless plug. But um, when my grandmother and my grandfather passed away, um, they didn't have a lot. You know, they, they, they uh, um, you know, when they sold their house, you know, that they, they my grandfather built, 
was to pay all his medical bills and, and not leave a burden on us. But the one thing my cousin Raymond, uh, who, who passed away uh, uh, too young, but um, he called me after he passed away. He said, you know what, man? I saved your grandfather's for him, Uncle, Big Uncle Lenny, um, his, the, the silver silk pot, this old pot. This pot, um, this pot was in my grandparents' house every weekend. And the beautiful thing about it, it's hot right now, but it's cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna throw the chicken back in real quick. I'm gonna throw the chicken back in real quick because it's nice. So we got the chicken, then I'll finish the story, and I'll finish it up on the other part. So we got chicken, boom, we got this. It's going back in, you see that man? Okay, like that, nice, nice. Okay, and then I'll finish the story. Okay, we're gonna take some of the stock. You know, the onions at this point here, that are in there, they've given up all their flavor. You know, kind of like us parents, we give everything for our children. They don't appreciate it, but we appreciate the onions here. Yeah? Okay, and then all we're gonna do, all we're gonna do, nice, nice, tuck it in. I'm gonna add a little bit of this kind of marinara, very simple, garlic, onion. Um, there's basil in here, not much more. Um, that's about an hour and a half sauce, we can give you that too. But not much, boom, that's it. Okay, it's all happy in there. It's not much, that's it, it's about, it's almost to the top, it's not covering the chicken, but it's, uh, well you see the drill. Okay, and there's 59 million ways to do this chicken, but that's what I'm gonna do. So all I'm doing right now, I'm gonna put the lid on, I'm gonna finish the story that I'm telling you. Get another towel, yeah, hold on a sec. Okay. <clears throat> Open my, my tongs just fell. We'll make sure to clean those off before we touch anything. Amateur move. Um, so what are chickens in there? How much time yet? We got left? Eight minutes. Eight minutes left. But I'm gonna take three minutes. But the thing about that pot one that I was saying was, you know, um, my grandparents didn't have a lot. Um, and when they passed away, I was remember like, you know, it wasn't like a bunch of our family went to go, you know, split their fortune. There was, it wasn't really anything left, but the things that were priceless was, was all our memories of together. So that pot that's in there now, it's tucked in it, about 375 or so. Um, it, that's only a two pound bird. So if it was a bigger bird, it'd be an hour. This one's gonna be probably 35, 40 minutes. We're gonna check it. As soon as it shakes from the bone, you know, um, it's done. If you like it a little tighter, then so be it. But we'll, we'll show you the whole thing on the next thing. But when uh, my cousin Raymond called me and said, hey, I, I got something, a gift for you. And at our wedding, um, many years ago now, but uh, at my wedding, um, he gave me this as a wedding present that my cousin Raymond got from their house before uh, it got, to, got disappeared. And it's one of my most, again, besides my family, my most prized possessions. Because not only did my grandmother and grandfather have us over the house all the time, they, when they moved from the Bronx, they moved up to Pine Bush, New York, you know, and we'd drive up and we'd go out to his garden and, you know, we'd run around and, you know, we'd come in the kitchen and we act like we didn't want to be there, but we really did. And then there would always, always be chicken cacciatore. And the most beautiful part for me that I didn't learn until years after, like my, my father's mother, Anna, the sweetest, kindest woman you ever would know, but the worst cook in her whole family, the worst one. And everybody, like all the other aunts, you know how they are, you guys know what I'm talking about. They would kind of like talk a little bit behind the back, ah, oh, you know, I hope Anna's not cooking on. And, but I never knew what she meant because they, what they meant. Um, my Aunt Philomena, I know she's listening, she never said anything. She was the best cook, one of the best cooks I've ever uh, run into, but God bless them both. But, the thing about what I learned, which was why I'm telling you this long story, um, is it was the best chicken catch toy I ever had, you know? And I didn't know, understand why it was so great. They said she wasn't great. I found out later on um, that my grandfather was the one that made the chicken catch toy on, sun, on Sunday. And he always gave my grandmother credit. And she never said nothing. She just put it out, and God bless her. And... 
it showed me like the sign of selfish, selfish, uh, selflessness, right? That I think is amazingly beautiful. Like sometimes we think we know things we just don't know. And then what other people do to protect their uh, legacy or respect. So um, I'll tell you more. Well, I'll clean this up a little bit. Not really, but in about 35 minutes or so, we'll come back. We'll pull out the oven. I'm going to put it, put out, tell you what to do with it. The recipe's in the book. It's in there. Steal it, borrow it, take a picture of it. It's, it's all cool. Um, it's easy. You can't screw it up. Adjust it as you want. And uh, we'll talk more a little bit in the second part. Okay, bye. Love you. Oh, okay, we're back. So the chicken, I said we were going to put in, be on about 35 minutes. Well, what I meant was 35 minutes and we take the lid off. Then it's going to be in there for about another 20, 25 minutes, about 375. So it was about, just about an hour, about an hour or so, maybe a little bit more. Because you want the top to get nice and brown. So we'll pull it out of the oven. I'll show you. We'll put dinner together real fast. All right. There we go, that's chicken. There's a nice chicken cacciatore. And uh, let's plate it. Super simple stuff. Let's put it, uh, let's put this one here. Like this. We gotta get the nice, the right appropriate plate. I like this one for that. So we're gonna get our chicken. Here's a breast. Yeah. Nice, nice, make it nice. So, as you see here, we made some, uh, me and I, my wife made some, uh, and Nina, she's running around, she helped too. Just some real simple ricotta gnocchi. I'll put another recipe for that. It's like stupid simple. Um, you know, uh, beautiful ricotta. Um, just some Hayden, uh, we use some uh, Hayden Flour Mills, uh, just all purpose flour, egg yolks, little salt, little nutmeg, that's all. So with this too, we could do the gnocchi, cook them, and just finish them in the sauce. Um, but you know, Nina, she likes just butter, and the other one, like she knows what the hell they like. Um, for me, I'll probably just, you know, just toss mine in a little bit of this ragu. Um, Mia likes the marinara. You get the picture. So with this, I'm gonna do this for you. Grandma's pot, the best. Put that there for a minute. Um, I'll drop, these, I'll drop these gnocchi and we'll do the whole thing together. Boom, boom. Okay. So they're floating. So the thing about this, just to finish it, just to see, let's see, take a look at this here. Let's see where we're at. Remember these fell before? I, I, I washed those off. But what we want is like, see the chicken now, we're just going to kind of just shake it off the bone. You know, just kind of see where it is. It's going to pull off nice, nice. This, you know, you can always stop, break it down more, have it go longer, see where it is. I mean, a chicken's bigger, obviously more time. It's not, the chicken is in room temperature before you cook it, be a little bit more time. So this is just, you know, these are just guides, but I thought it would be fun to um, tell you a little bit about my grandmother's pots and, uh, and finish with this. This is some parsley we just picked from the garden. Nice, nice. Good olive oil. Boom. Okay, that one's done. Okay, now we'll make some. We'll finish this pasta. Okay. Okay. So, I hope you guys had a good Sunday. It'll take 40 seconds. How much time we got left, Mia? About a minute and 10 seconds. About a minute and 10 seconds. Trying to keep these, I'm trying to learn, like I said, they don't go too long, everybody falls asleep, you know, everyone's got stuff to do, I get it, but uh, hopefully this helped. Like I said, it's super simple, it's very easy, you know, you can't screw it up. Um, and the most important thing, why I want to put this up, is to connect to things and people that we love. So, let's see who we are. The gnocchi's coming right now. Let me make it nice. 
I'm gonna crank her up a little bit of pasta water. Nina doesn't like sauce. The other ones, they like everything. Okay. That goes there. That gets cranked up. It's okay if it goes over like a minute. Sorry. There. We got some Parmigiano Reggiano here. Boom. Put that in the pan nice, nice. This is here. That's the stuff. Okay. Okay. So that's it. Use some something. Seconds, no, we're almost there. Man, it just feels like forever, everybody. Make it nice. So, so anyway, in closing, the Katsutori's recipe is in the book. Um, get the, get around the table with people you love, and um, anyway, I hope this helped. I'll try to write some stuff down. To make it, you know, to make it simple and easier. Hope this helped a little bit. I'm new with this. It's not really my thing, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it. Okay, just about there. That was just, this is just some butter with a little bit of the pomodoro we had. Boom. Yeah. Something for everybody. I don't know about your kids, but mine, everybody who likes mustard, who doesn't like this, that, the other thing. That's not the love. Okay, that's it. That's it. Off, off, off. Out. Cheese. But it being this one, I had some basil for that one. Okay, that's all. I love you guys. We'll see you later. It'll get better as we go along. But anyway, thank you. God bless you. And thanks, Mia, for doing this. See you.